All right, welcome back to the channel. Um, today, I'm going to show you how to put in the DC5 Creations fuel pump relay. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward. This is for the O2 to O6 RSX. All right, so I'm going to show you guys how to put it in. Um, I already put it in, so I'm just going to show you guys how it's done. It's pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Um, so let's jump into this. All right, so the kit should come with the power, the ground, and a couple connectors. Um, yeah, pretty much that's it. Um, I will start from the battery and work the way back. Pretty easy, let's get into it. So I was wanted, running a um, Deechworks fuel pump relay. I had that video up and I took it down because I knew eventually I was going to go with this kit. Um, I do recommend if you have, if you want to do this kit, it's a lot more easier, a lot more simple. The price range is very reasonable pricing and pretty straightforward kit and easy to install. So I would definitely get his kit if you're running an RSX, EP3, and whatever else the kits or whatever else it's available for. Pretty straightforward kit. All right, so let's get started. All right, got my little helper here. All right, so first thing you're going to do is you're going to go hook up your power. Get out of here, fool. Hold on. All right, so anyways, first thing you're going to do, you're going to hook up your power, and then you're going to hook up your ground wire, and then you have an inline fuse right here. So um, eventually I'm going to um, mount it somewhere. Don't know where yet, but right now it's good where it is. So hook your power, hook your ground, ran it up through here, ran it through the fender. As you can see, the wire right here. And then goes into the window crow and then from the window crow it drops into where your um your air filter is and then drops out behind your um your what the hell is that called the freaking glove box all right. all right so on mine i don't have the filter in there so it's just a straight drop in so let's go inside all right so as you can see it drops in right there and then I have it going right here. Okay. My glove box broke. Yeah, it broke my glove box handle. Need a new one. Anyways, so it goes behind that panel right there. And then drops down into here. Runs along the kick plate right here. Back into here. And then we'll go into the back. All right, so I'm going to try to make this as simple as possible. It's actually really simple. Okay. So again, you have the, sorry about the lighting. You have a, your relay kit that comes, or all the stuff that comes with the kit is right here, okay? This right here is gonna be your stock harness, okay? Coming out of your stock harness, it's pretty straightforward. You have a yellow, blue, and a black right there. And then you also have a yellow, I guess that would be silver. Is that silver? Anyways, yellow, black with black, okay? Yellow, blue, black. Yellow, black, black, okay? Those are coming out of the harness. Um, this one right here, the yellow, black, and black is going to be your wires that tells you how much gas is in your tank, okay? The yellow, blue is going to be your signal that tells the pump to turn on or it goes to the ECU, etc., etc. And then the black grounds, okay? That's coming out of your main harness, okay? Now, with this kit, you have this, this connector that goes to the pump, red, black, with another connector, okay? That is going to plug in to this one, <clears throat> okay? Then, this one right here that has the yellow and black is going to connect to this. In the kit, you will just have this connector, okay? So you gotta basically pin, D-pin. Okay, so let's get back to the D-pinning. So on the OE, where the hell did I put it? Okay. This is the OE clip that I took off, okay? You're going to have, let me double check. Hold on. All right, on your OE clip, see where it's got two, three? The two is gonna be your red, black, okay? On your OE. And then your top ones are going to be your yellows, your yellow and your black, okay, on the stock connector. You need to deep in the yellow ones and the black ones, and 
you're not going to be using this uh, connector no more okay so once you dip in those now you're going to take the connector that he came with it's got the red and black it's already pinned in there on the connector that you get from dc fire creations so now all you got to do is take the black and the yellow and put them right into there those two top black on the left yellow on the right okay pretty straightforward so once you depin them from the stock clip you'll go ahead and you see from the harness you'll take them and you'll pin them into there okay now you'll take the yellow blue and the black and then you'll pin them into this connector okay you're gonna have to depin them from that connector and then pin them into this connector okay once you pin them into this connector then this connector will connect onto the relay part of it okay so once you do that you'll see it's connected uh, don't worry about these butt connectors this was from my last setup i just connected them together so once you do that pin them to here connect it to there then you're going to go ahead and you know pin those into there and that's pretty much everything like i said these are for your this is going to be for your your um your fuel gauge to tell you how much is in the tank and the yellow blue is going to be for the signal pretty straightforward and you'll go ahead and clip that back down okay and you're pretty much done with my setup you're pretty much done okay now the difference is let me get this real quick oh yeah so once you have the you know that pin the red and black then you're going to go ahead and connect it onto that one okay let me do that real quick right there pretty straightforward connected okay so this is all good right here this is the first step i guess you could say to getting the wiring part done okay now in his kit you will have this also okay this is going to go to your fuel pump um, i'm going to leave his video in the description on how to hook this up i didn't have to and the reason for is because this connector goes to a walbro aem etc okay it's a bigger gauge uh, wiring for the pump okay i have the deech works drop-in module um inside i already have these thicker wires and a connector that runs up into into underneath the pump okay where they connect so i don't have to do nothing in here for mine it was pretty straightforward bam bam hook the wires up plug it in now if you're wanting to run in a wall bro or aem then you have to put this you have to take the pump out yeah you'll pop the pump out you'll open up the carriage and you'll have to hook this into the pump um, let me see if i can explain it to you guys on another pump that i have in here but for my kit drop in deech works kit i have to do nothing i don't have to pull this out all i gotta mess with is all this wiring and do that and plug it in and i was good to go now again if you're running am wall bro something of that nature um you won't have these thicker you'll have the oe thin wires so you'll have to hook this up you definitely want to hook this up because you're defeating the purpose of getting all this thicker wire and not having the thick wire in the pump you'll run into issues you won't get the proper you know the voltage so let me go see if i have a pump and then i'll explain this part to you guys like i said i didn't have to do it but there's a lot of people out there they'll probably have to put this connector in all right so let's go see that so again drop in module deep which works nothing you have to do but the wiring anything else you have to do this unless you pump unless when you did your pump in there you already have these wires anyways moving on all right so i was going to try to explain it i'm not going to because i might be misleading with the information so definitely link will be in my description of where to hook up the fuel pump um to do this right here so go check out his video he explains it pretty damn good and yeah so on my end it was pretty easy um you'll have a couple more steps if you have a wall bro or something like that you'll have to you know take your full pump out take all this stuff out and watch his video on how to hook this up um again link in the description for his video if i can get it linked up there if not go to dc fire creations youtube channel and you'll find it there on his fuel pump relay um, kit and he'll explain this really in depth on how to do it on the rsx so go check that out again the wiring part inside the car pretty straightforward hella easy so hopefully this helps you guys out 
Um, let me see. All right, so damn, I got grass on my glasses. Oh, weed eating. Anyways, um, pretty straightforward kit. Um, plug and play. Um, go check out his kit. It's worth the money. It's worth everything that he has for that kit. Um, I tried to do it with the Deech Works with this one right here, with that one, and his kit is plug and play. Easy. A uh, really good quality kit. So definitely go recommend. Buy that if you have an RSX EP3 and you're looking to do a fuel pump relay um, conversion on that. Go buy his kit. Save yourself a hassle. And it's it's stupid easy to put in. It it may look complicated, but it's really not. Just watch the video. It's it's easy. Can't fuck it up too bad. If not, your pump won't turn on and you'll figure out you to go back and look at whatever you fucked up on. Anyways, so yeah, it's been a minute since I watched or made a video. Hopefully this guy, hopefully this helps you guys out. Again, I can't stress as much. Go get his kit. Really good kit. He has a bunch of shit on his website too for the RSX plat, uh, platform that I do recommend getting, you know, buy, looking at his stuff and, you know, buying some of his stuff. It does have some good stuff for the RSX platform. I will eventually probably be getting rid of all my humble shit and getting his manifold and his piping because i will drop a video later on the humble kit um not too impressed with it but yeah maybe i'll drop it here later but anyways so definitely if you're going turbo go check his stuff out he has a bunch of stuff for the rsx platform he's doing stuff on the uh, hns bunch of stuff go check his stuff out he's really in the game for the rsx especially if you have an rsx and you're looking to go turbo i recommend getting all the stuff so yeah anyways uh like subscribe kale day hope this video worked out have a good one